Man's got to eat. Got to. You know, if it wasn't for the mission, you know, a lot of us would go hungry, dude. You know? I like to cook. I like working with people. I like to encourage people. And I'm able to do all those things here. And I've never felt so fulfilled. For my next trip to come, I got I gotta wait at least two weeks for my next trip to come. But I have to pay bills and everything, so you know this means a lot that they're helping you know, my family to get out. It's important for people to know that they can bring things here, and they're not sold. They are given to people that need. Since coming through those doors, I thank God every day for the fact that um, I've gotten the exposure to Christ. I'm really, really looking forward to the future right now. And to see a man set free, I said, wow, that just blesses my soul to know him. If Local Fellowship is actually partner with Springs Rescue Mission, I think together we have a much greater impact and effectiveness in serving our city and serving family by family, the people who need our help. Springs Rescue Mission is a, a valuable part of this community. Without them, we'd be missing a, a part of you know, the assistance that we need. They're open-armed, they give people chance after chance just to really make that difference and uh, get them on the track that they need to be on. Citizens in our community really need to support the Springs Rescue Mission because the mission they have to help the homeless, those with addictions, uh, those facing incredible struggles in their day-to-day -day lives can't be helped by the government all the time and other programs that just aren't meeting those needs. So it's really an incredible program to uh, help those individuals that other programs can't. And the Springs Rescue Mission is one of the key organizations I rely upon that the city and the neighbors and other faith-based organizations can partner with. I count on the Springs Rescue Mission to help uh, feed our homeless, help our veterans who are down and out on their luck, provide uh, job training, uh, recovery training for those in our community who need it the most. My thought with Springs Rescue Mission is that they're an agency that's actually living their faith-based philosophy. They're not talking about their religion, they're actually going out in the community serving people and providing a, an outstanding example of, of how these services should be done. No one should go hungry in our country, period. For whatever reason, there should not be hungry people walking in our streets. In this town, you're not going to go hungry. Um, there's no reason that any homeless person in this town should go hungry, and a lot of that is accredited to Springs Rescue Mission. Everybody knows that you can go to the rescue mission and, and get fed a meal. That's huge. Um, feeding people costs a lot of money. Um, it's tough. We have families every day that call us and ask us to help them with food vouchers and, and, and food baskets because um, they can't pay the bills. So it really takes a lot of the burden off of us to know that a family can get fed or an individual can get fed by just saying, hey, you need to go down to 5 West Las Vegas to the Springs Rescue Mission or we'll drive you, which we do quite often, um, to get them some food. Your local mission has the capacity to work with you and do catering. We have already done uh, seminars, conferences, luncheons, weddings. We have done these. And in turn, that's providing funds back to the mission. So consider the mission as, a, as an opportunity for you to be able to provide great food, great service, and training to people in need. We have a building that continues to bulge at the seams because people have given a lot to us and we take materials in, any type of materials that a family would need. So it comes in from donation from people, then we make sure it's 
good. And then we give it away. So, can take that with you make so we're here and we're saying, hey, we're a friend to you. Come on in. We're going to listen to you. We're going to respect who you are. And we're going to help you with what your needs are. You need a bed? We're going to help you with that. You need furniture? We're going to help you with that. You need a box uh, of food to get through uh, for the next week? We're going to help you with that. The majority of the clients that we serve in direct services actually are women and children. The cost of even just diapers and clothing for a baby is, is just very, very overwhelming. We're able to just, just kind of stand in the gap and provide assistance to these ladies who otherwise would bring their babies home with, with nothing. Because I'm single mom, when I come here the first time, they help me with clothing, with furniture, uh, with food. Later, because one of my dream is to help people, and then I see an opportunity here. And when I come and apply, wow, that's amazing when they call me and say they need my help. Oh, I was so happy, so proud. I was praying God every day for this opportunity. It's very nice. Very nice. Addictive behavior is a result of an emptiness, a gap, a void in a person's life. In other words, it's something that they're seeking for, it's something that they want, it's something that they desire. The program is built to take guys from a life of addiction and dysfunction and bring them into a life of relationship with Christ and healing. We do that through a number of ways. Uh, we really try and address the whole person. We deal with physical ailments, physical problems, medical things. We deal with counseling and we deal with spiritual growth and discipleship. And there's no life that is destroyed too deep, no life that is too far, no life that is too far gone that Christ cannot and will not heal and restore. If I hadn't found this, uh, the rescue mission here, uh, chances are very high that I would have reoffended, you know, drank and drove again and I'd probably be in prison right now. If not jails or institutions, then death. That's what I was looking at. And in this place, there was hope and there was life. There was an option that I ha had just about given up on. Um, well, it's just, you know, I owe, I owe life to the Springs Rescue Mission. You know? So, so there's not really much to say than thank you, <laughs> you know, God bless it. Project Elevate is quite simply taking the best of what the Springs Rescue Mission has to offer and bringing it to the local neighborhood through the local church. We're currently meeting the needs of tens of thousands of people at the mission with providing food and clothing and uh, furniture and those kinds of items. But there's so many more needs in our city, and rather than trying to get all of these people to come to that location, what we're utilizing is Project Elevate to literally reach out into local neighborhoods. An example might be like this. You as a local church would end up over a period of time, maybe over a weekend or a couple weeks, get the word out to your neighborhood that on Tuesday night there would be a distribution of food and clothing and various things. That evening some trucks from the Springs Rescue Mission would show up with those resources in them 
and they would end up being distributed out to your neighbors in that neighborhood. So on Tuesday night, people from the neighborhood that uh, are at risk and have needs would end up coming to your church and those people are able to then get the things that they need for their families. As another example of what Project Elevate might be able to do in serving you uh, at the local church. We know that throughout our city that various schools might be struggling in some way and you as the local church in that neighborhood might want to bless or help, encourage, strengthen that uh, local school. What we can end up doing through Project Elevate is, is providing volunteers to come alongside your efforts to maybe tutor children or to provide uh, various help to teachers in various ways and help resource you to accomplish so much more than what you might be able to do on your own. Project Elevate is able to bring volunteers in to provide needs and in so doing people are so much more open and receptive to the gospel because their real needs are being met. There's real change. NeighborBase is like Facebook for volunteers. What it is, it's a very powerful online tool, yet it's very simple. Once you log in and become part of the community, you're able to see all the different opportunities through various organizations as well as the Springs Rescue Mission of places in which you can plug in with your time, your ability, and your passions. So volunteerism through neighbor base is going to be a much simpler way for you to end up engaging in this city in a meaningful way. The most significant thing, if I had to dial it down to what, it, what is it in Colorado Springs, it's going to be housing. We need to grow our men's recovery center to, to house 100 to 150 men. We need to have housing for women's recovery. The face of homelessness has been changing over the years, and the fastest growing population is going to be children. And they're going to be single women with children. They're going to be families with children. Trying to provide housing, even at tempor in a temporary way, for these people is going to be a very pressing issue for the community. With your help, we purpose to be a catalyst of making change happen in Colorado Springs by using our new tools, Neighbor Base and the Pro Elevate Project, not only growing Springs Rescue Mission and its campus, but expanding beyond our, our four walls, so to speak, to going out into the community and taking some of the best things that we do and taking them right into neighborhoods so that local churches can be solutions for their neighborhoods. We are poised to be a significant solution for Colorado Springs as part of the faith community to meet the needs of Colorado Springs. God bless you and thank you.